Hello everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte and in this episode I'm going to show you how to draw a horse body. Normally when I draw horses I draw really fast and loose in a style called gesture drawing. This really allows me to capture a lot of motion in the picture and uh, helps me to make sure that my sizing and proportions are correct. Um, gesture drawing is focusing more on draw, drawing the shape rather than the line. For this one I'm going to really kind of give you more of a blocked in uh, horse shape so that you really can see the proportions just really nice and slowly. For this draw I'm going to use just a regular um, B pencil but you could use any kind of pencil you want and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my horse just using some basic shapes. So the first shape I'm going to use is a nice circle shape for the chest of the horse and then I'm going to bring in along the backbone. So up here is where the the neck connects and there's the withers. So you have the backbone which kind of does this really nice swoop curve. You don't want to swoop it too much because it'll be kind of a sway back horse. But a nice little swooping up and all the way to the back part of the horse which is going to be another um, circle which is going to be a nice rump shape. And again I'm drawing really loosely um, so that I can change and move things around if I need to. Now the distance between these two circles is roughly a little over half. Um, so and depend and it also depends on the horse. Some horses are a little bit more narrow through here. Some are, are really really long. Just depends on the breed. Um, and the more you draw, the more you'll just kind of be comfortable with this, be able to see the difference um, and how much you want. So if I were to put another circle in there, you'd see it would overlap a little bit in here. And this part right here is um, the chest, the rib cage, uh, which we also call the barrel of the horse. Um, this is where um, all the rib bones are up through here. It's really great when you're learning to draw um, animals that you really understand how the bone structure and the muscle structure is it's called drawing the anatomy because um, it helps you understand what's going on behind, underneath the skin, under what, underneath what you can see and helps you to understand how things work and move and why things, you know, there's a bump here and a divot there, um, kind of see those things. So I would really recommend getting some really good reference photos, um, some anatomy pictures and taking a look at those. So here is the main body of the horse. So basically it's just three large circles here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create in now the legs of the horse. And a good way to judge how long to make your legs is this is almost going to be a square. So from here to here should be roughly around the same distance from here to here. So I'm just gonna draw some invisible lines down here. These are not the legs. Obviously the legs don't come out way out here. <laughs> but this is just gonna let me know how long to make this horse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put in my horse's legs and this actually starts all the way up here in the shoulders. Here's the shoulder blade of the horse here. Comes back down to here to kind of like their elbow and then down to their first knee and then their lower part of their leg and into their hoof or their ankle and I kind of just represent everything with a little bit of a circle there. The upper part of the leg is a lot thicker than the lower part of the leg and you'll see I don't have this come out right here. I want the chest to kind of wrap in a little bit. Got some good muscles here. So the top leg has a little bit more muscle than the bottom part of the leg is a lot. I mean there's a little bit of muscle obviously but more tendons and a little bit thinner and narrower and all that. I'm gonna put the other back leg. It's just gonna be set back just a little bit further. Again, just draw really loosely so that it's easier for you to kind of erase and move things around a little bit and all that. So now let's look at the back part of the legs. And the back legs are gonna start up right here with the hip and they're gonna come down kind of to the first kind of knee muscle here and it's gonna go back to the back of the leg. And there's a joint there and then it comes down to the back hose right here. And so there's a lot of muscle right here. So in this part of the rump, kind of wraps around and then just tapers along, kind of follows that along there. And then this muscle just comes really nice and tight. And once it gets back to the, kind of the back part of the leg, again, just like over here, thins out a little bit. Over the ankle bone, just like so. Okay, once you have that leg, then you can go ahead and bring in the other leg. I'm going to bring this one in just a little bit forward. So I'm going to bring this bone up here. There's the back of the leg there. And just the same thing. Okay, 
So the underside of the horse, the barrel of the horse, um, is not just this straight line. You don't want this nice straight line. You want it to kind of swoop down just a little bit, kind of following this contour of this circle here a little bit. And it just wraps around and then kind of heads on up and into the flanks. Now we'll go ahead and put the neck in. And the neck usually connects about, if you go cut this a little under halfway, so all along here is your backbone, and your backbone runs all the way up through the neck. So you just want a nice smooth transition there. And however you want the horse's head to go, it can be you know straight up or kind of curved down, or you can have it bending down to graze. So the horse's head I, I achieved by drawing two circles, a larger one for kind of the cheek of the horse, and then a smaller one for the muzzle or mouth of the horse. So now we have kind of just the basic outline of the horse built up. And I have uh, videos on how to specifically draw ears, and I have videos on how to draw horse hooves, and horse eyes, and horse manes, and all that. So I will leave some links to those in the description box below for you for a little bit more detail on how to finalize these up. But in this video, I really want to show you how to build in the horse base, which is this you know, basic shape here before you get into all the really kind of fun detailing. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to erase the lines I don't need and then finish up those details in time lapse for you so you can kind of see that. Um, if you have any questions on specifically, you know, how do I do this part or that part, um, uh, leave that in the comment section below or again check out the videos that I'll post in the description box and those might answer your questions there. So I'll be back in just a minute to uh, finish up this video. So there we have a finished kind of blocked in base horse with all the guidelines removed and so now it's time to add in some detail and some shading but I'm going to go ahead and do that in the second video. I had done a video previously of a horse, how to draw a horse, um, I think it was my horse galloping video and I had done a separate video on how to do the shading and promised everyone a video on how to shade a horse and then promptly deleted that footage so that's why that footage never video never came to be so sad. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that with this video here. I'm going to make a secondary video on how I shade this horse. So if you're interested in uh, finding out how I do that, make sure to check in for the next video coming up. In the meantime, uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos and have fun drawing. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.